So I heard you got yourself a job at Starbucks. You are officially a barista, a partner. Yay, I'm so proud of you, how exciting. Or absolutely terrifying, because now you have to learn the entire Starbucks menu. Hey, what's up, hello, my name is Stefania, welcome to my channel. Pull up a chair, pour yourself a coffee, and let's get into it. If you are just now finding me, I was a Starbucks barista for almost four years. After I left Starbucks, I worked another year at a smaller locally owned cafe here in Chicago. So I've been a barista for quite some time. I do know my way around an espresso machine. Was that creepy? I didn't mean for that to be creepy. Being on the other side of it now, I can tell you newbies, you green beans, that learning the menu is not as daunting and intimidating as it may appear. As you go through training, you will find that it is more repetitive than anything. And at some point, it will become muscle memory for you. Spoiler alert, prepare to make at least 100 caramel macchiatos every single day. A lot of you have commented on my other Starbucks related videos, such as landing the interview, landing the job, interview questions and best answers. And you have told me, you clearly took my advice and you got yourself a job at Starbucks. So now that we are all officially baristas here, let's learn the menu. In this video today, we will go over everything you need to know about these guys. Hot and iced tall sized beverages. First, we will go over syrup and sauce pumps, espresso shots, everything that has to do with what goes in these size drinks. Then we will move on to the preparation and building of the drink. Yeah, we're gonna go in depth. And by depth, I mean we are going to go literally drink by drink. And lastly, I will share my memorization tips and some other things that you should probably just know as you go through training. From a seasoned barista to a green bean, I got you. After this video, you will know everything you need to know about hot and iced tall sized drinks from Starbucks. Your trainer is gonna be like, damn, where'd you get all this knowledge from? This is going to be a series with grande sized drinks being next up. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to me so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos that I'm <laughs> brewing. Tall drinks, baby, here we go. We're gonna start off with chatting about this guy, Mr. Hot, Mr. Hot Tall Starbucks Beverage. This. This is 12 ounces. Sometimes you will get customers who ask for a 12 ounce coffee or a 12 ounce latte. When you hear 12 ounce, they are referring to the tall size. Tall hot drinks, similar to ice tall drinks, we will get into that in a second, get one shot of espresso. That's it. So if somebody orders a tall hot latte, it's getting one shot of espresso. Now, let's say that same person is ordering a tall hot vanilla latte. That adds another layer to the drink. Now, you as the barista will add three three pumps of vanilla syrup to our latte. Why is that? Because the standard for tall sized hot drinks at Starbucks is three pumps of syrup or sauce. One shot of espresso, three pumps of vanilla syrup in our hypothetical hot vanilla latte scenario. Ice drinks, same exact thing. If somebody were to order a tall iced vanilla latte, three pumps of the vanilla syrup, one shot of espresso. When we are filling up our tall ice drinks with milk, we only want to fill up the milk to this line right here on top. I know it might be a little tough to see with the glare and the lighting, but there are three lines on this cup. You will fill up milk each time to the top line. This is on tall cups, grande cups, venti cups. That top line is where you will always fill up your milk to. This ensures that you're leaving enough room for ice and whatever else needs to go on top. Before we move on to the build of each drink, I would like to just note one quick thing that regardless if it's a hot or a iced tall drink both versions are getting one shot of espresso and three pumps of syrup period now for the build of each drink i will let your trainer handle the milk frothing part for hot drinks your trainer will go over how to properly aerate the milk depending on which drink you are making what i will tell you is that aerating the milk is quite simple first of all aerate means to add air, essentially. The espresso machine steam wand basically blasts out hot air or hot steam, and this enables you to properly froth your milk for hot drinks. And if you are a visual learner like I am, it will all click once you see your trainer doing it right in front of you. Anyway, for iced tall drinks, the standard build of a tall iced drink goes like this. The first thing you will do is add your three pumps of syrup or sauce if your drink calls for it. Regardless, if your drink calls for a syrup or a sauce, you're doing three pumps and that's the first thing that will go into your drink. Let's go back to our hypothetical iced vanilla latte scenario. If you were building an iced vanilla latte, you would do your three pumps of syrup first, then you would add your one espresso shot. After adding your espresso shot, I always recommend giving your drink a little whirl. This will help mix the syrup or sauce in with the 
the espresso because nobody likes drinking a drink where the flavoring is all just sitting at the bottom. What's fun about that? Next, we will fill up our cup with milk to the line, ensuring that we're leaving enough room for ice. You guessed it. Ice comes next, pop that lid on, and you're done, baby. You just made a hypothetical iced vanilla latte. The same build goes for hot drinks as well, but instead of cold milk and ice, obviously you will be frothing the milk. Regardless though, it is the same build, so syrups will get added first, then your espresso shot, and then your frothed milk will be last. Now, there are some exceptions on the menu for tall, iced, and hot drinks. There are drinks that do not follow the tall, standard three pumps of syrup or sauce and one espresso shot. Let's go through them. Starbucks caramel macchiatos are actually very different from traditional macchiatos. Italiano macchiatos, if you will. But that's a story for a different day. Eater, eater. Back to the video. Tall caramel macchiatos from Starbucks, regardless if it's hot or iced, will be received receiving one less pump of syrup. So for tall hot caramel macchiatos and tall ice caramel macchiatos, the standard is typically three pumps of syrup, but because we're doing a macchiato and it receives one less pump of syrup, iced or hot will be receiving only two pumps of syrup when it comes to macchiatos, rather than the standard three. And instead of the espresso shot going on the bottom like it would in a latte, with macchiatos, the shots go on top. You will pour your espresso shot over the top of the milk instead. Lattes, espresso goes on the bottom, macchiatos, espresso goes on top. Americanos. Americanos are just espresso and water. That's it. No syrups, no milk, unless the customer specifically asks for it. When we're talking Americanos, we increase our espresso shots by one for each side. So for tall, iced, and hot Americanos, instead of the standard one espresso shot, each side will be receiving two espresso shots because we increase the number of espresso shots by one for Americanos. Last but not least, let's talk about flat whites. Flat whites are a little bit different than everything we've talked about so far because they actually receive what we call ristretto shots. A ristretto shot is a type of espresso shot that is pulled from the machine for a shorter duration of time. By doing so, less water is extracted, giving the ristretto shot a smoother and sweeter flavor. Water is the root of all evil. I'm just kidding. But it really is when it comes to espresso. The more time that an espresso shot pulls for, the more water it's gonna use, therefore, the more bitter it's gonna taste. And hey, if that's your thing, some of you like bitter, some of you some of you like acidic, that's cool. I'm more of a ristretto girl myself. I like the sweet and the smooth, not the bitter and the watery, but that's just my opinion. In later videos, we can go over espresso shots, different types of espresso shots a little bit more, but let's get back to our tall drinks for the time being. I don't wanna overwhelm you, but flat whites receive ristretto shots. Typically, you won't do an iced flat white, but there are some people that do order iced flat whites. So regardless of if you're doing an iced or a hot flat white, not only will these bad boys receive ristretto shots, but they will also get one extra shot when it comes to flat whites. Those are the main and most popular staple menu items that have exceptions. I will let your trainer go over the other few exceptions for you. Again, I don't want to overwhelm you. Okay, it's time for a little quiz. Are you ready for this? Okay, class, how many pumps does a tall, hot latte receive. One, five, six, six, Who just said 16? Three. All right, whoever said three pumps is correct. A tall, iced, or hot latte is going to receive three pumps of syrup. Next question. How many pumps of syrup does a tall, hot, or iced caramel macchiato get? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? No? Okay. Two pumps of syrup, because in a tall, iced, or hot caramel macchiato, they will always receive one less pump of syrup than standard. Standard is three, so these bad boys get two pumps of syrup for macchiatos. Last but not least, how many espresso shots does a tall, hot, or iced latte or macchiato get? Five, four, eight, seven, four, nine, sixteen, one. Okay, who keeps saying sixteen? No, it does not get sixteen espresso shots. The correct answer is one. Tall, iced, or tall, hot, lattes or macchiatos will receive one espresso shot. The only difference here is, is that a latte, the espresso shot will go on the bottom, and a macchiato, the espresso shot will go on the top. Okay, be honest, would it be helpful for you guys if I put together like a downloadable little Starbucks training cheat sheet with all the drinks and syrups and espresso and just kind of everything that you need to know? I would make it very aesthetically pleasing to look at. Comment below if you would be interested in having that free resource available to you. I'm more than happy to put something like that together and create a shared link 
so that you guys can look at it and download it and keep it. Let me know. All right, my friends, hopefully this video helps your understanding of the Starbucks menu and hopefully makes your life a little bit easier. In the next video, we will be moving on to grande iced and hot drinks and going over the same stuff that we did in this video, just with grande size. In the meantime, if you would like to see anything else from me or would like to hear my thoughts, feedback, opinion, advice on any other topic related to Starbucks or really anything for that matter, I'm open to a lot of different topics. Let me know below and I can whip something up. I could brew something. I'm here to support you, my little barista bestie. You're gonna do amazing. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.